What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Another 23-24 Series 2 Hockey 10-box mixture sold out. This time it's break number 5. And I know that sounds a little crazy. So we sold out number 1 yesterday. Number 2 still in the store at 2, uh, two left. Number 4 still in the store at 1 left. We just broke number 3. And now we're skipping to 5. <laughs> so, uh, like I mentioned in the first video today, guys, obviously we're trying to keep the cases intact on where it's going to end. Where do we start fresh? So just before I start, I just let you guys know, hobby cases come in 12. We're using only two per break. So uh, this two boxes will be from the first fresh case we opened up all the way to a break six, basically. And then after that, seven and eight and so on would be from a fresh case. Uh, Blaster, same thing. Uh, Blasters actually would end with this one as we're using four and there's 20. So break five would be the last one for the Blasters. But obviously that case, once we sell out two and four, will be used for that. And then tins, since we're using four, there's only 12 in a case. Uh, it ends at break three. Um, so basically, uh, four, five, and six would be fresh case tins. So that's why I have a tin case right here for this break right here. Um, so yeah, before I do the randomizer, I just kind of want to do this really quick. So let me open up this tins case. And like I said, for the first breaks, when we open up the case, I'll randomly generate a number to use for them. Then after that, we're just going to grab randomly. So let's generate quickly some numbers, and then we'll do the randomizer for the Blackhawks if you buy two or more teams. So four numbers. 10, 5, 9, and 8. So 10, 5, 9, and eight right here now the rest of these will be used for breaks four and six all right so now Go back to a dice roll. Like I said, you had to buy two or more teams to win the Blackhawks, guys. So basically, guys, uh, D Mac got this started earlier in the morning, and then David B just bought the rest of the teams out. So basically, only between these two customers. So D Mac's going to get one entry, and then uh, David B basically got the remaining 29. So technically, uh, got the one left over. So basically, 28 would give you 14 entries. So, we're going to go to up to 14 there. And that'll make it out of the possible 15. 15 right there. All right. So, there you go. So, here we go, guys. Good luck. Let's roll it. Three times on the names. Number one gets the Blackhawks, guys. One, two, three. And boom, three times, three times. Like I said, it wasn't going to shock me. <laughs> David, there you go. I know it's still, I don't know. I feel like if I was in this break and I was David, I probably still would have been a little nervous. Because it does happen. But, hey, not today. Not today. All right, there you go, man. All right, well, let's pull some Blackhawks, guys. We haven't pulled any Bedard true uh, Young Guns yet, either in any of the Blasters, the Hobbies, and obviously the Tins we hadn't either, but technically this is a fresh case for the Tins. So, here we go, guys. Good luck, buddy. I know it was a little, a little scary there, but you got it, buddy. I believe in myself too, David. I mean, I just want to get you one, but no. 
I want to get like an exclusive, a red outburst. Hell, we'll take the gold, David. Just remember when you make a million dollars, okay? <laughs> boxes right there. Dazzlers, Jason Robertson. And then Bobby McMahon to start us off for a young gun. Sean Farrell. We got a UD Canvas, Jake DeBrusque. So basically, minus the Kings and Devils, everything else is yours, David. Ty Emerson. Nets off. There you go. You got one. There he is. Looks. Oh, it does look a little chippy right there, though. All right. So there you go. There's your first Connor Bedard, but it's definitely not going to grade a ten. You got one. Matthew Barzell. McGing. All right, next two. Philip Dazzlers. The Ferrier. <laughs> I actually seen that too, Rex. That was that was really funny. I seen it on Twitter. <laughs> Messed up the book. Uh, that was uh, John Ludwig. Forsberg. And then there's a checklist Bedard Carlson, which actually don't need to randomize. That goes to you. There's that. Successful blasters, I will say. Obviously, I don't even think we need to randomize those unless it's a king or a devil. Robertson. And there's a canvas young guns. Jake Livingstone. We got Justin Sourdiv. Alright. There you go. Blasters complete. 
And now let's go to the tents. Uh, we'll save the Dazzlers for last. Two more packs in box two. I think they are that price.
All right, here we go, guys. Here we go with the tin. So you're looking at maybe three to four young guns per tin. There's Jackson Lacombe. Oh, some backwards cards. Okay. Ludwig. Anthony Duclair for the Panthers canvas. Matthew Nyes. The Ferrier for the Kings. And then we got a Lawson Kraus outburst. Michael. And we got Eberson for the Sharks. Damien Giroux. Capri Soft Canvas. Mason Laurelly. The Porter, what's going on, man? I know, dude, right? It's uh, it's probably the most hype year since I was doing that, to be honest. That 16, 17 year with McDavid and Matthews. So I think any hockey product that comes out for series. Uh, for 23 24 Bedard year, I think you're going to be seeing a lot more hockey on here. <sighs> Alright, two more tins. So, Jones. Hunter Shepard. Young guns there for the Capitals. And then uh, Travis Boyd outbursts. Hardy, Heyman, Actel. Matt Tompkins. Yeah, probably <laughs> his one of one like RPA would probably go for like a million dollars too, I'd assume. Maybe more. At least the way it's looking like. But I don't know. We'll see. Jonathan Marsha so. But the good thing is that Bedardo is signing, so we're not gonna have to worry about like a Jack Eichel situation or something like that, you know? Hockey's, hockey hobby is well and alive, guys. Everybody thinks it's, like, so bad and, you know. But that just goes to show you, man. There's still some people out there that are willing to collect hockey. Amberson. We got a Samuel Girard outburst.
Another Giroux. There's another Mason. Should I have one more in here somewhere? There it is. A key. Oh yeah, for sure. There's a lot of other great, uh, really, really good players out there too. That's what you're trying to say besides Bedard, you know? But it is, it is going to lower the prices down of their stuff, I will say. Unless they're having, like, a crazy season, right? But, you know. That's what I was trying to tell people, like, you know, even with this series, too, like, you know, Leo Carlson, number number two overall pick, right? And, you know, um, you know his, his young guns aren't going for Bedard money. But at the end of the day, you know, obviously, you, you could pull a couple in a break, right? Honest, honestly, I mean, you could pull, like, five or six, right? If you get the right boxes, you know. Maybe get, like, a... Maybe get like an exclusive or a numbered card. I mean, they still tend to add up, you know what I mean? So it's like, just because they're not selling as much as Bedard, it doesn't mean they're not great players. It's just, yeah, Bedard, Bedard is like one Minyama right now, you know what I mean? Like, screw the other players. <laughs> you know, like, that's all they want. But, uh, like I said, down the road, obviously. Especially, like, especially the, the, the good thing about this, though, is that. We're just getting started, really, with upper deck stuff for 23-24. We're not going to see cup hockey for Bedard this year until, like, until um, probably their second year, to be honest. I mean, they still haven't even released cup hockey 22-23. So, I think that should be coming up soon, though. And I, I suggest that they won't release another cup until the end of the year. Maybe, maybe even next year. I don't know. So, it's like... Uh, a lot of these players will be going into their second year potentially. Or even some of these young guns that are not even in the league yet, really. You know? Um, consistently, at least. So it's going to end up being pretty perfect because when some of the higher end stuff starts popping out, let's just say that Leo Carlson's starting to kill it, you know? And other players are starting to kill it. It's only going to drive the value up. So even though people hate that, like, some certain products come out in going into their second year. I don't think of it as a bad thing, actually. I think of it as a good thing. Because that means that giving time for some of these players to actually do something, right? It's like for hockey instances, like for me, like Quentin Byfield, right? He's a big king. That I, I love that dude. I've been vouching for that dude forever. You know, if, if Cup Hockey 21-22 uh, would have came out in 21-22... I think his stuff would have been dirt cheap. Really, really dirt cheap. Even cheaper than it is, you know, even now, I think. But because it just recently came out, you know, at some point last year, at the end of the year. He's having, like, the best year so far of his career. And it, it gave time for his stuff to go up, you know. Oh, 100% deeper. Look at it. I guarantee you guys, and there's nothing wrong with this, right? This is just people chasing the big stuff, right? Hey, does someone put a million dollar bounty out on a card, and it's not been pulled yet? I'll give it a, I'll give it a try. And if if that card's gonna go for a million, let's say, right? <laughs> that means that, like I said, his young gun started off like a thousand, right? They kind of drop in a little bit because. I think what's going to separate itself is the PSA 10s and then obviously the numbered ones, but... Hey, if I can get an exclusive of Bedard, worth my investment, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, so... Yeah, I think that's the fun part about it, right? When someone puts a crazy bounty like that, and it's a legit one, right? It's like David Adams, they're a big, big player. They love hockey, too, they're in Buffalo. You know, it's like, I'll give it a shot. I'll, I'm going to... Why waste my time on something else when I can just try to win some, some potential big hits, you know? Which is great but yeah obviously football baseball basketball are still like numbers one two and three but hey man I hockey obviously getting a lot of eyes this year 
And one of the most expensive cards ever sold is a hockey card. Gretzky. So, makes sense. Alright, here we go, guys. Last two boxes. These are the hobby boxes, though, so we have not pulled anything massive out of the hobbies yet. So we're hoping to pull something nice here. Mark D'Agazio. Tomas Hurdle. McMahon. Ooh. Need to pull one of these. Big Dard, though. Hardy ha Heyman Octo. Also, D Porter, I think I called your name a couple times in breaks yesterday. I think you got your Seahawks, right? The Seahawks, I think is what you got. Emerson and Valerie Nakuchkin. Martin Paul. Mark Giordano. I wonder if Mark Giordano goes to Giordano's. And then Kyle Clutterbuck. These are actually short printed cards too as well, I think. Highlighters. Yes, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the duel, right? Hell yeah. At the prop. Spectra is so nice, but I get it though. It's so expensive <laughs> overall. This is where like the group breaks definitely comes in, but even then, obviously, woo! There you go, Leo Carlson. That's our first one actually too, as well from the hobby case. There you go, David. Um, but yeah, it's so nice. I I think it's like such a perfect pick your team type of product, you know, case breaking kind of product. Patrick Boy, uh, Patrick Wall, sorry. Um, so like you know. Even though it is still pricey, I mean, it's not as pricey as what a whole box would cost, right? So, still makes it definitely worth it. Devin Toes. Little Taves. Uh, but yeah, man, I, I hope I can rip some more, but I get it, though. It's pretty, <laughs> it's expensive. Although we have it at a great price, though, but it's still it's still expensive. Sid the Kid. Oh, for sure. I think it's great. And then I love the on cards as well. Although they have stickers, we can never get rid of stickers, but there's some couple really nice on cards as well for the vets and the rookies. And then we got a population count 1,000, Maddie Berniers. Nice one there. Yeah, dude. I mean, look at the CJ Strouts that are actually what they're going for too, man. I mean, freaking base cards are going for a ridiculous amount. Which kind of sometimes justifies the price, man. Even though it sounds crazy. It's like, what? 500 bucks? But, go look at the comps, man. It's just like, wow. I just have to hit a base. And we're pretty much almost break even, you know? It's pretty crazy. Pavel. And then a Hugh McGing Young Guns canvas. Then we got a Mackenzie Wegar for the Calgary Flames. Clear cut. Um, so again, guys, obviously we still haven't pulled up a dart. I'm hoping we can still get one here in this last box. But if not, like I said, that would mean only one Leo Carlson in the whole case so far. And no Bedards in the hobby. Um, so again, obviously hobby's up until number six. So we can use it for numbers two, four, and six. So, again, think about that, guys, when you guys want to get into Series 2. 
Hobbies obviously have the best chances at the bigger hits. You know, with the numbered cards, the outburst reds, exclusives, the potential one ones and stuff. So, you know. Leferrier, he's a great player too. Paul Horvat, let's get to the last of it here. Python, Miro Heishkinen. Do you see my pick? Ovi has aged a bit. No, actually, I have restream on, so I don't see it, but let me see it. Let me pull up YouTube. <laughs> is that a... That looks like a card. So is that like a custom card? That's funny. I don't know, man. If you do look at Ovi, bro, that, that dude's had, like, a full head of gray hair for, like, 10 years already. All right. Oh, sorry, guys. I didn't even rip the Dazzlers. Sorry, let me rip that, too. Hold on. Sergachev, Cates, Sorokin. Sergachev, Cates. Wow, that's the same players there. Sorry about that, guys. I totally forgot about these Dazzlers. Gustafsson, Sid the Kid. Tavish, Michael, and no Cates. <laughs> Is it really? That's funny. That's it. No more Bloods. It's like, yeah, it's time for Ovi. Alrighty, guys. Well, hey, man. Thanks for, you know, obviously getting into that break, David. I'm glad I got you at least one. And we got the checklist. And, of course, you got Leo Carlson. You got basically all these ones here. So that's the good thing. And, of course, a lot more here, of course. Uh, so appreciate it, guys. Like I said, um, let's sell out numbers two and sell out number four, guys. Those are down to two and one left the last time I checked. Appreciate it, guys. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.